Hello, welcome to Maths with J. Here we're going to be writing a quadratic expression in completed square form. And then we're going to use that to solve the associated quadratic equation. So part A first of all. So the important thing here is to realize that you need to be looking at the coefficient of the x term and then halving that to get the x plus p squared. So let's just write that down over here. So we're going to halve the plus 8 to get plus 4 and work out what that is first of all. So that's x plus 4 multiplied by itself. So when we multiply that out, we get x squared plus 4x plus another 4x and then four fours are 16. So we can see that this is pretty close to what we want. So let's just write down the x squared plus 8x, looking at the fact we're trying to write down x squared plus 8x minus 1 is something or other. And now we're just going to look at what we've got on the right hand side. So what we're really doing is subtracting 16 from both sides. So the reason we're doing that is that when we square out x plus 4, we get a plus 16. So we've got to take that away to make sure that we've got x squared plus 8x. And now what we really want is x squared plus 8x minus 1. So we simply subtract 1 from both sides. And then simplifying that, we get minus 17. So we've written it in the required form, showing that P is equal to 4 and Q is equal to minus 17. And having done that, we can then solve the quadratic equation and we're going to be giving the answers in third form. We're going to leave them in that form. So it'll be very straightforward. So instead of the equation as it was written, we know we can write this instead, and that's equal to zero. And the reason why this is so easy to solve is that the x is now only in one place. So we need to unravel this to get to the x. So we're aiming to get the x on its own on the left hand side. So all we need to do is the same to both sides at each stage. So to start with we'll add 17 to both sides. So we get x plus 4 squared is 17. And then square root both sides. So we'll have x plus 4 on the left hand side and this is where we need to remember that when we square root there's two possible answers here, either the positive or negative root of 17, square root of 17. And then we just subtract 4 from both sides to get the x on its own. And if you have time, you might like to think about checking that answer. How would you do that? One possibility would be to use the formula that you're used to using to solve a quadratic equation.